So here's how to use Wix to make a portfolio website. I am not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it. So where I am is gonna be at the all sites section right here. If you don't have a website, it's not gonna showcase it, but nevertheless, what you wanna do is click on create new site right here. All right, so you can bring your ideas to life with AI, but in my opinion, I think it's a lot easier to do without. So I'm gonna do set up without chat. You can do it with it if you wanna get a little bit more details in, but I find it a little bit easier if you follow along and do it this way. So I'm gonna do set up without chat. All right, so what type of website do you want to create? Let's type in portfolio. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can get really niche specific. If there's a specific type of portfolio that you're looking for, you can change it a little bit later. Like if you know you're going to be doing photography or maybe like wedding photos or maybe something marketing related, you can certainly do that. For this, I'm just going to go with portfolio. You can too. And don't worry, you can really specify the type of portfolio website you're going to be doing after when you choose your templates. So let's click on continue. All right, our dashboard is going to be ready. I'm just going to do Marketing Island, given the fact that is my YouTube channel name. Let's click on Continue. So give it a title based upon what you want it. All right, and for this, I don't care for a Instagram feed. You can use that if you want. This is going to be the most important one, which is going to be built in a portfolio. And there's going to be a few other things which you can always edit and change around and add if needed. Like, I don't think we're going to be doing food orders here unless you really want to, but let's use Portfolio here and click on Continue. All right, you're all set. Head over to the dashboard to finish setting up your site. This is where the fun begins. Let's click on continue to dashboard. All right, so welcome to your dashboard. There's a lot going on here, but we only need to do design site, which is going to be right here. So let's click this. All right, so how would you like to design your website? You can use AI. I have used it in the past, and in my opinion, I think it's a lot easier using a template because it's easier to see something that you like, like right off the bat, and then change it around. So I'm going to be going pick a template right here. All right, and as you can see, we talked about how, or we mentioned that we wanted to create a portfolio website. So it's gonna give us all these portfolio website templates. If you wanted to be something a little bit more specific, let's do photography, portfolio, you could type in something like that and search for it that way. So if I do search, you're gonna see now these are gonna be more photography related, but I just wanna go back. I'm gonna do portfolio to keep it a little bit more broad because I understand you, know, you might be doing something completely different to someone else. So I just wanna show you a, a wide range of portfolio templates that you can use. Now for me specifically, anytime I am pretty much creating a website or using a template, I like keeping things as basic as possible, even something like this. And if you see something you like, you can click on view. And something like this I think is fantastic. Why? Because it's simple, it showcases what you need here, and you can just edit the bottom part and change around things as needed. So I actually like this one. If you wanna go with something a little bit more spiffy, you can definitely do that. So if I scroll down a little bit more, maybe if you want a picture of you there, you can do that. But I'm gonna be showing you the things to edit. So if you know how to do the basics, you can use any template that you want. So I'm gonna go with this one and since I like it, I'm just gonna click on edit. So find one that you like. If you wanna use this one as well, you can certainly do that. All right, so something's gonna pop up where it says enhance your AI content. Once again, I'm just gonna hit X on this. We can edit it, it is pretty straightforward. So in case you're not too familiar with Wix, very quickly, this is gonna be the left side where we have all of the main things that we're gonna be doing. If it looks a little bit too small, it is. <laughs> Simply click on 50% and move it up to 100. So let's work our way kind of to the top, to the bottom. So this says Sasha Blake, let's do quick edit here. And let's say this is gonna be the website name. So I can just do marketing island, right? Something like that, pretty straightforward. So we can click off of that. Now, if we click on this section right here, you're gonna see plenty of things that we can change around. This is gonna be the title here. And we also have our featured collections gallery. So this can be, as this example, I just have a couple of YouTube thumbnails that I'm gonna use like as an example portfolio. So I'm gonna say like YouTube design thumbnails, okay? And that's gonna change that there, as you can see. And now we have a featured collections gallery. So what we can do here is click on manage projects. All right, so choose all the types of work you'd like to showcase. This could be videography, branding, you know, whatever it's going to be. I think web design is gonna be fine, specifically for mine, if it's gonna be YouTube thumbnails. You know, if you did wanna do something else, you can just do other like this, and then you can just talk about it right there. So let's do next. Add images, I'm gonna to go to upload from my computer and get the images that I wanna use. All right, so I got four images that are gonna be loading right here. As you can see, there's just some neat little island pictures. Okay, so let's generate projects. 
All right, so it gave it kind of a, a little description here. Tropical paradise experienced the best, uh, the beauty of tropical paradise with stunning waterfalls. That's pretty much just going to be talking about what it looks like, which is fine. I'll keep it as that. And I'm going to do create portfolio. All right, your new projects are here. Fantastic. So if you did ever want to edit it, you can do that. But I think that looks fine as it is. Now what I can do is simply click on X. And as you can see, this is going to be one specific section where I have thumbnails. So if you wanted to do more of those, you would simply repeat the process. So let's say those are going to be YouTube thumbnails for like the island base, right? Now then I would do another one where it could be maybe based upon mountains and other beautiful scenery that isn't an island, right? So that's how you can continue on and do it that way. So as an example, I'm just going to go through the process very quickly just to make sure you know what it's all about. We can do manage projects. And now what we would do is add project. So the previous one was all about islands. Let's just say this is mountains, right? All right, I'm just going to do beautiful mountains to keep it quick. Let's do next. And once again, upload media from computer. Okay, this is going to be the images. I'm just using the same ones again. I'm going to click on done and done and great. So now, as you can see, this is also going to be one that's going to be in there. So I'm just repeating the process where this would be different. Obviously, it would have a different title and the images would be different, but these are just examples. So if I click on X right here, give it a second to load. Now we're going to have the other one there. So that's going to be the process we can keep adding to it, which is very straightforward, right? Very easy to do. Let's make this bigger. And now we can go down here for quick edit. So if we click on this, you're going to see that we have the bottom section. You know, let's see. Oopsies, let's do this right here by Marketing Island. We'll keep the date, why not? Back to the future. Now, something else that you might want to do is changing around the menu. So this is going to be a big aspect of it. Many times menus can be at the top, but here they're going to be at the bottom. So when we're clicking on that, what we want to do is manage menu. Okay, so anytime you want to go to a different page, you can simply click on it. We have our portfolio right here. And as you can see here, it's going to be same to what we had on the main homepage. So we don't need to change anything here. If you want to do manage products, you can certainly do that. But if we go back here, we go to manage menu. We have our about section. Okay, so this is going to be where we can change this very quickly. Let's click on our picture right here. What we want to do is change image. And I'm going to upload media and upload from computer. And I'm going to be loading. There I am. We can crop and edit it and adjust it, but I'm just going to do choose image. Let's see how it actually looks first. Okay. So now what we can do is edit image. And you're going to notice like it was kind of like cutting off the head a little, so we can do crop and extend. So if we do something like maybe this, maybe this, let's do save. Okay, and it moved down ever so slightly. So what I can do, let's see, move this. All right, and you'll notice it moved up oh so slightly. So we can just kind of keep messing around with it. I'm gonna do it once more and say we're gonna do crop and edit. So if I move this up a little bit more, let's do save. And this is kind of gonna be the process where if you see a picture, there we go. And it's kind of cutting off the top of your head. You can just kind of move it up and move it up. So if you wanna change this around, this is business as usual. Like it says, I'm a paragraph, click here to add your own and just, you know, change it, right? We don't need to put in my personal life story here. That's gonna be yours. But uh, when you are done with that, this is gonna be a button here. I'm not really sure why there's gonna be a button, but in case you want to keep it there or use it, you can do that. Click on delete. I clicked on backspace. So if you want to get rid of that, you can do that. And that's pretty much going to be that section. Don't forget if you've got a lot of work going on here, click on the save button. It's going to ask you to like add the last part of it. So marketing Island, that's fine. Let's do save and continue and great. Perfect. Don't show this again. Let's do done. And the other ones are going to be business as usual as well. So if we click here, let's go to the menu and manage menu. We have contact let this load very quickly. So if you want to add a form, you can certainly do that. I personally, when I do websites, I just love doing, you know, I'm not giving out my phone number. I will say that much, but I will just give like, here is my contact. If you want to reach me, if you want to do a form, it walks you through the steps of being able to do that. But if you don't even want to use one, click on it and do the backspace. And literally you can just keep it like this if you want to make it as easy as possible for you. If you are using your telephone number, like if you're a much bigger business, you can certainly do that. But something like this, it's like, 
So they arrive on this, this is your contact info, they can copy it, they can paste it. Uh, what you can do is if we go to link right here as well, you can do email and you can just add the email right here. So your at email.com, um, a question. You can put whatever you want. Like if you're gonna be a general inquiry, like I wanna you know, hire you, you can just link it so that when they click on it, it opens their inbox you know, to that sending a specific email to it and has exactly what we put. So that's something you can do as well. And a couple more things I just wanna finish up real quickly. Let's go to manage menu. There's gonna be a blog here. If for some odd reason you're like, James, I want a portfolio website. I don't wanna start you know, creating all these blog posts. Completely fine. I'm not gonna go over this just because a blog is a completely different thing, but very straightforward. If you want to delete it, I will show you that. You can simply do delete right here. And there is gonna be book online. I will go there again. So let's do manage menu if you wanna check that out. Let's click right here. All right, so this is gonna be for booking online. I believe you need a paid plan for this. So this is something that if you did wanna edit, let me just double check here. So if we click on manage services, And yeah, to make online bookings, upgrade to a business premium plan. So that is something that you can do if you want to. So I'm not going to go through that. Like the portfolio aspect of this is going to be the biggest uh, section, but you could always just take this out and just have someone like send you an email. That could be the same thing, like interested in booking online, send me an email, you know, with that specific, very similar to what we did on the contact page. So you could do book online slash contact. You could just delete this page and use this as both of them. But in a nutshell, let's go back to the beginning. What I want to do here is click on save. And now I also want to show you how to publish it because that's very important too. So let's click on publish. All right, so what I want to do is view site. We can check it out. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. I think it does when I click on it. So let's check it out. All right, so here we are. Very straightforward. And like I talked about, I used one that's very clean and simple because when you know how to do like the fundamentals of this, which is pretty much setting up your website, changing it around, you now know how to add everything else into it. So you can add another section here with more images, another one, another one, another one. And don't forget, this is pretty much going to be the same as like the portfolio section. But if we click on this one right here, you're going to see that we now have the images that we added in. So this is going to be great for the portfolio because it's going to have all of them based upon, say, these YouTube thumbnails. If you're doing photography, you could do like just one full wedding that you did. So for one project would be person A's wedding. Next project would be person B's wedding and so on and so forth. So let's go back. We have about which we just barely quickly edited. So let's click there again. All right, so there's going to be a picture of you, which is me at the time. And of course, we're going to change this around right here as well. There's going to be contact and book online, which are going to be oh so similar. And I pretty much just want to stop you there because that is going to be the tutorial when it comes to using Wix to make a portfolio website. It is very straightforward once you understand how to do it. That's why I don't need to like build out all of this because it's more about uploading your content, your portfolio, your images, whatever it's going to be. And then from then on out, you can obviously change around some minor details. But once you have the template and the skeleton to creating it, you're going to be good to go in my book. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. And if you made it all the way to the end, a virtual high five for you, I will leave a link down below in the description for a free gift that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.